and uh, red team will find themselves up an entire stock here looking for that move again that's the second time inside of 30 seconds that Incineroar is gonna get the dunk on King K rule it's a three minute fight too Welcome back to the Peanut Gallery, where we can provide competitive commentary to casual encounters on Quick Play. Before we get into the games today, just want to remind you that you can join the Peanut Gallery by liking and subscribing on that video. Let's get to the games. Here we go. So we're on a stock fight on Congo Jungle. A couple of heavyweights here. We got a Sephiroth and a Jigglypuff, both in Elite Smash. Um, the Sephiroth uh, from Germany, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't remember where the Jigglypuff was from. Uh, might have been the US, but it also could have been France. I was not paying attention, but we're gonna get into the game. The folks at home are, are currently rooting for the Jigglypuff. His win rate is uh, quite a bit better than the Sephiroth at the present moment. Uh, but in terms of the actual competitive matchup, I think Kirby, or Kirby, Jigglypuff struggles a little bit here, I would think. Sephiroth having a very long stick, making it difficult for Jigglypuff to get in. Uh, there you see a little bit of that there with an, a landing up air hitting Jigglypuff twice second time out of the pound but the jigglypuff being able to parry there makes a bit of a difference we are having a pretty even fight here uh, sephiroth is being carried across the stage okay stalling with the forward air sticking into the ledge and we'll get the counter to set the jigglypuff off we are at even percent here uh we have yet to reset to neutral though there we go so uh sephiroth taking stage control with the back air and now Jigglypuff with a neutral air uh, taking over there. A neutral air is going to catch the Sephiroth out of his regular getup. Looking for a counter again. He's not going to have any invincibility. And being unable to tech the back air, Jigglypuff very intelligently waiting to see uh, what the Sephiroth is going to do. Uh, but pounding into a counter from the Sephiroth is going to take out Jigglypuff's first stock. We are dead even here in the first minute of this contest. Back into neutral, Sephiroth using that stick to keep Jigglypuff at bay, but we'll get punished for the, the misplaced counter with a down air. Not very much percent there, but it's not nothing. A pound into the forward air. Looking for that forward smash out of getting the knockdown on a neutral air, but not quite going to get it. Uh, Sephiroth now down about 30% after an interaction. That rest was interesting, but the forward smash uh, at the very tip of the sword not gonna kill interesting decision not to use like a down smash or something that would be more powerful there perhaps fully charging it i guess it wasn't a shield break though was it it was a rest uh so he did get the punish anyway dead even percent still 75 to 78 jigglypuff going off stage to a back air from the sephiroth charging that uh, neutral b but not letting it rip there down air into a grab sephiroth off stage in 102 now no invincibility Looking for the counter again, but Sephiroth wisely just using his third jump to, uh, you know, circumvent the Jigglypuff and land on stage. But a neutral air out of shield punishing the forward tilt will kill Sephiroth of the left. Sephiroth down one stock to two here, but Jigglypuff getting very close to death percent. Back air will put him in 104. That uh, neutral be not connecting. Jigglypuff grabbing the ledge very wisely. Jigglypuff trying to find an opening. Sephiroth, again, using that stick to try to keep her out. Looking to close out that second stock on Jigglypuff before taking too much damage. The counter will probably do it, and it does. Getting hit uh, th by that counter after an up air. Oh, is it a recovery going to be interrupted by the neutral air from Jigglypuff? Could have been uh, dangerous there, but uh, he will make it back. Jigglypuff not calculating correctly on these edge guards. Um, J uh, uh, you know, Sephiroth at relatively high percent here. We'll see if it ends up being an issue, but uh, what a string of hits there. Just a full up B into that Jigglypuff looking for a sing and then getting hit by uh, Sephiroth's side B there at the end. So taking quite a bit of damage there. Looking to even this up, 80% of the Jigglypuff uh, getting very close to being, you know, death percent. Oh, but a back air to punish the down. Yeah, back air punishing the down smash is going to kill Sephiroth. Uh, looked like for a second it wasn't going to kill, but but it will. And that's going to be the game. Jigglypuff taking it over uh, Sephiroth. And that's going to do it for game one. We'll let the three-man free-for-all rock here today. So it's a little Mac, Pit, and Ganondorf. A uh, bit of a middleweight fight. And, uh, about halfway to uh, Elite Smash level are all three competitors here. We got a Ganondorf, Pit, and a little Mac. Um, we'll see what's going to happen. The folks at home are split between the Pit and the Ganondorf. And it's a two-stock fight. Three minutes on the board. This one's going to be over quickly. Uh, there goes, you know, a forward smash and then a, a wizard punch, a warlock punch, excuse me, 
in the first five seconds of this contest. If that's not indicative of what we're about to see, I, I don't know what, what is. Forward smash from the little Max gonna send uh, Ganon off the stage. Getting caught out of his jump is there, little Mac. I'm not sure what Ganondorf is doing. Tempting fate on the left hand side. Oh, looking for that charge down smash to connect after. Oh, that's it for little Mac. He's dead. No jump, no side B. There's nothing he can do about that. Ganondorf at 80%. Pit now just taking his first 40%. Neutral B from the a little Mac is not going to find a target. Ganondorf at kill percent and just hanging on the ledge. Just ledge camping. <laughs> Whatever. If he doesn't get hit, he doesn't die. It doesn't matter. Looking for a Warlock Punch, nobody home. Looking for another Warlock Punch, nobody home. Back air will send him off stage, but not quite killed just yet. Some, uh, he had a, Pit had a golden opportunity to kill that Ganondorf there and just decided not to go for anything. A forward throw or like a dash attack. That down air to uh, up smash is going to do it though, but then Pit's going to die to a Little Mac forward smash just capitalizing on the fact that Pit was occupied taking out that Ganondorf stock. So... Uh, dead even stocks and percent here. We are halfway done this three minute contest. Neutral being into pit shield. Oh, that's gonna hit the pit. Warlock punch. Gonna hit pit. He's uh, dash attacking just a little bit too close to that that punch move. Oh, here's another punch move though. Oh, he's gonna be very very far away. And uh, you see Ganondorf doing nothing. Ganondorf doing nothing to edge guard the Little Mac who has to use all of his resources to get back to the ledge using a Warlock Punch hoping to God that Little Mac for some reason is just going to run into it and getting himself KO punched for his trouble. And what were you expecting from a three-man free-for-all at 7 million GSP? What were you expecting? Oh, uh, let's just go to the next game. Okay, we got us a doubles fight. Snake here, uh... And K Rule are the closest to Elite Smash if they're not in Elite Smash. And Cineroar is also pretty close. Brana Plant, though, not quite as much. This is a bit of a mix and match here. This is a little bit like if the Big Show were to be in a doubles team with Rey Mysterio, which I believe happened. You get a lightweight and a heavyweight on the same team. Uh, but I digress. We're going to go right into the game. Here we go. Snake is going to hang out and throw projectiles and cause explosions, and so far it is working. Incineroar, uh, 83%. Da oh my god, just running off and dropping that dunk on the King K. Rule. K. Rule dying very early for King K. Rule uh, to that down air. And uh, Red Team will find themselves up an entire stock here, looking for that move again. That's the second time inside of 30 seconds that Incineroar is going to get the dunk on King K. Rule. It's a three-minute fight, too. Looking for the, uh, the the revenge there. Well, you know, not the move revenge, but vengeance. King K. Rule dash attacking Incineroar, but not actually killing him. I, I can't even believe it's happening again. That is the third time Incineroar is going to kill... King K. Rool with a down air, and you know what? Incineroar clearly is aware of that fact. <laughs> Team hacking in the middle of the stage. Oh, that's going to be... So stage spiking him with the cannon, uh, uh, the blunderbuss there is King K. Rool, and then saving him with his up B, so Incineroar is not going to die really early to that. Suddenly, we've got King K. Rool and Piranha Plant down to one stock each. Piranha Plant dying at some point there. Oh, my God. Okay, so the Incineroar got the revenge on that... Uh, on that... Okay, two moves he's got revenge on now. Let's see if he's going to hit. He's looking for that uh, the Lariat. Oh, okay, that's going to be interrupted by Snake's up tilt. Missed timing that. He's looking for King K. Roll. A down smash is going to do it with revenge. Oh, yeah. And then the mine. The C4, I should say, going off. Not killing Piranha Plant yet. Going deep for the down air, but not going to get it. Oh, and he's just going to die to some explosions there. Just Snake throwing out up smashes over and over again. Man, they didn't even stand a chance. It's almost like one team with two Elite Smash man members and the other team uh, with one Elite Smash almost and one not even close uh, would have a hard time winning that fight. It's almost like it was not fair. Fun doubles match. A lot of crazy shenanigans. I'm glad I decided to stick around for that one, sincerely. Okay, that is going to about do it for this episode of the Peanut Gallery. If you've enjoyed the video, you can join the Peanut Gallery by liking and subscribing and commenting on that video. Until next time, see you later.